how many folks here are introverts? Okay, so that says a lot. Okay, how many folks here got your job through a contact of, or a friend or a family member, someone who was already working here or connected here? Wow. What this shows is even though we're introverts, we're also using the power of our own networks to, uh, to further our careers. So it's been my practice not to be so much, you know, very intentionally networking, but thinking about every interaction that I have with people as an opportunity to, um, to, get, to build a relationship and to get to know people a little bit better. Take time, pause, and remember that you've got to build that network. You've got to develop that relationships. And, and as you do that, it might be two minutes at the coffee pot rather than hurrying back to your office. You just stop and say, hey, what's going on in your world? And you are building that network, that relationship. The network is the number of people that you interact with and that you have actually real interactions with. You'll be surprised that people that you think aren't influential at one point in your life become influential later. So treating everybody with respect from the get-go is a good practice. This is about development of the person, navigating through the culture as well as the system here, and, and as I said, building that network that pays back in spades over and over again. Those networks can be closed or they can be open. And what I mean by a closed network is that if you know your friends or your, the people you interact with and all they associate with is their own. So you're forming a little cloister, a little group or a little team. On the other extreme is what are called completely open networks where you're kind of at the middle of this hub. The people that you talk to don't really talk to each other. They talk to other people. And if you do that right, that is actually putting you in what's called a broker position where you are actually helping different organizations and different um, um, you're, you're helping to build bridges across other people's networks. One of the skills you have to really remember about networking is not just um, you're telling your story or trying to sell yourself, but you have to really be listening. So that's a skill I think that is very essential to networking because you have to listen to the needs of the people that you are networking with and listen to you know, what they do and what they're interested in and what they're passionate about. And that way, later on, when you come across some opportunity that if you had this partner that you know from your networking experience, you'll know enough about, about them and what they do to, to ask them to join you in this endeavor. How many folks lead people? Okay, so a handful. In leadership, ultimately making yourself completely dispensable to the organization so that your staff is successful, it opens you up to do other and bigger and better things. At a place like Argonne, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of different kinds of work going on, and if you want to change the direction of your work or expand your work, you, you, you have there's a lot of people here that offer potential um, partnerships if you just reach out to them and seek out some opportunities for new collaborations. Mm -hmm.